Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility.
I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faithplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh. No, I fizzled that one too. Oh well, we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them.
Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. The aerial faith light in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. Believe what happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Hmm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. They bird, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling.
you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans, but with you here I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need.
These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I- Ah! Bird! 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 Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid! Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes! Keep te- Just keep testing! Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be 
well living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to note this on your file, in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. Please put me down. Are you still there? Hi, Burning King. Is anyone there? Hey.
region. To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. Searching. 
Please put me down. Yeah. Are you still here? I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. <laughs> 